Hello, this is Father Jamie. I hope y'all are having a lovely day. I just got my head peeled, so I probably look pretty bald at this point. A haircut is good, and since restaurants and things of that sort are closing because of the coronavirus, I figured, well, I better get my hair cut and get it cut very short in case I'm not able to get there for a few weeks. So you do what you got to do in these difficult times, but it will be okay. And I'm also going to try to be in the habit of posting my homilies the next few weeks in case masses get canceled and all of that. So um, anyway, just wanted to give you a reflection from this past Sunday, uh, yesterday. Um, deer are amazing creatures. That's where I'm starting today. Um, Y'all know that I like to hike on my farm and... When I hike, a lot of times I like to sing, and it's funny, a lot of times when I sing, as I'm hiking, I'll hear hooves behind me. The deer love to follow me around when I sing. As long as I don't turn around and appear to be looking at them, they follow me, or if I'm praying vespers down at the lake, at the altar, uh, a lot of the times the, the deer will come out along the tree line to listen. They're pretty amazing. One time I was hiking, and I almost stepped on a little buck that was uh, nest nestled up against a tree. Uh, Mom and Dad saw this happen from the house. That's how I knew what it was. But all I know is he jumped and went one way, and I jumped and went the other way. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, but deer are pretty funny. You know, we have the lake on our farm, and a lot of times the deer will come out on the banks, and they'll look around first, then they'll take a drink, look around some more, you know, they want to make sure nothing is there to eat them. And, you know, they long for that water, but, you know, they're afraid to come out there. Which brings me to the homework I want to give you all for this week. Last week I gave you all Psalm 104. This week I'm giving you 42. Psalm 42. And it begins like this. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is thirsting for you, my God. You know, we're a lot like the deer. We thirst, but sometimes we're afraid to walk out, walk out onto that bank to drink. Whether it be we're afraid something's going to get us or, you know, we don't want to be seen because of our sinfulness. You know, we long for that living water that we hear about in the gospel from this weekend. You know, the woman at the well, Jesus approaches her and they have this wonderful dialogue and he tells her he'll give her living water, and she longs for it. Just like the deer yearns for running streams, so our souls are thirsting for God. And the woman at the well, she was afraid to approach the living water. She was afraid to come to the well, and we know this because the gospel says that she came at noon, which was not the customary time to come get water. It was early in the morning because it was cool. She didn't come because... She was afraid of being seen because it was known that she had she had had five husbands and the one she had wasn't hers, according to Jesus. So she was afraid to come to the water because she was afraid of being talked to or at. And you know, Jesus comes and he doesn't tell her she's going to hell, but he does call her, her sins out. But he still welcomes her and he longs for her. He is longing for for her faith, just like God longs for our faith. We long for him, whether we know it or not, and he longs for us. His grace goes beyond anything we can comprehend. We are not perfect, and we long for that living water. That's the beautiful thing about God. He longs for us, and even if our heart and soul is not in the right place, his grace can still work. That's why we take our children to be baptized as infants. They don't know what's going on, but God's grace still works. A seed is still planted. You know, I, I heard about this cartoon not too long ago. There was this little baby girl. She was on the phone with another baby, and she said, You wouldn't believe it. I went, my mom and daddy took me to church this weekend, and the priest tried to drown me, and they, everybody stood around and watched him do it. You know, the baby being baptized. Yeah, she didn't understand what was happening, but a seed was being planted. You know, Jesus tells us that there will be those who um, 
will plant the seed and others will reap the harvest. Others will reap the fruit of the harvest. So we don't know how God's grace is going to work all the time. But he longs for us. And we should not worry so much about that. As long as we confess our sins, do our best, it will be okay. His grace will see us through, especially these difficult times of the coronavirus and all the drama going on with that. It will be okay. It may be a little difficult for a while, but we can make it through this. Don't lose hope. May we, like the deer that yearns for running streams, thirst for God. Amen.